Hello, Eight of Cups family. Welcome to Eight of Cups Tarot and welcome to your June overview, guys. I'm going to kind of do these videos a little bit differently this month. Part of this is because it's a retrograde Mercury, so I'm going to make them a little bit shorter, clearer, and to the point. I'm also going to separate some of my videos. I know some of people are here for the astrology, some people are just here for the cards. Um, the timestamps seem to be a little bit maybe confusing, not working out so well. So in the name of retrograde Mercury, we're going to simplify. And that's the advice that I'm giving you guys in the month of June. Look, we have a lot going on. And in fact, if I had to choose, I think June might be one of, if not the most powerful month in the year, but it's an internal process. It may not be a whole lot going on on the outside. Let me explain this a little bit clearer because the planets are all starting to really move retrograde in June. We've got, we're starting off the month with Mercury being retrograde and trust me when I tell you, this will be the most intense retrograde Mercury we may ever experience because of the placements, because of the intensity, because of the short amount of degrees that it's covering in an extended time period, I guarantee you each one of us are going to really feel this retrograde Mercury deeply. Now, for my mutable signs, Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, and Sag, this is going to be a really important internal time. It's an important internal time for all of us. But we already have Pluto and Saturn retrograde from last month. Now we're going to move into Jupiter and Neptune. All the outer planets except for Uranus. And Uranus is making a square to Saturn this month as Saturn is retrograde. So as you could see, the month kind of belongs to Uranus. Uranus is intimately involved with Mercury, who's retrograde. It is a time to see things from a different perspective. It's a time to look at things from a much different perspective. So let's take a look at the month. Let's start off with the solar eclipse. Now we ended May with a gigantic Sagittarius lunar eclipse, and this has a lot to do with deception and beliefs. My take on this uh, lunar eclipse was probably you seeing a whole different side of things. Um, now this could involve actually a lot of different facets in your life because of the way that the planets are set up. You can start to really see the truth uh, this can involve with other people, so maybe your relationships, um, maybe your jobs and, and your money situation. And there could be a lot of truth coming to light. And mostly it's about our internal truth. And that's what we're learning about this month. So emphasis on... Um, and I, and I kind of dubbed this month ascension and integration because we start to see who we truly are what we truly desire and the truth of our attachments this month as we start to take an emphasis into the cancer placements venus will move into cancer in the first week also making a trine to jupiter while jupiter is still moving direct in pisces this is really powerful because Cancer often represents our home. Now, the high end of cancer is this beautiful, unconditional love, okay? It's love of self, love of family, and it is the number one priority to love and nurture ourselves and others. But the low side of cancer is protection mechanisms, playing it safe, maybe even holding on to attachments that no longer fit you. And that's really where this square with Uranus and Saturn is so important for us because we're going to learn about the environment that we keep ourselves in. Also an interesting fact, as Venus starts to make her way through Cancer, pay attention. She's moving extremely fast right now. Venus is kind of on this mission, right? 
She's trying to find her home, her place in the world, what she truly desires, what she wants, and it's a lot about expectations. As we're moving through this eclipse season, we're seeing that people and situations are kind of removing their masks. We're gonna learn a lot of truth, whether we're ready or not. What is the truth of the situation? And really it's all about why are we attracting these situations in our life? Because with the ascension comes the integration. And the Gemini eclipse is going to show us the new path forward. It's a breath of fresh air and it's our path to freedom. Now the freedom doesn't happen overnight. The freedom doesn't happen for a few years, really. We're not gonna break free from all of this. There's a lot of internal, very dense energy that we're breaking through with Saturn all about all of the ways we've always done things, the structures in our life, and as we begin to meet ourselves with a new set of eyes, with a new perspective, we start to see our possibilities. And when we do that, what happens is we have to start forgiving ourselves and others from the situations we've been in in the past. Like I said, Venus is moving very quickly, but it's really important to pay attention to what she does while she's in the sign of cancer. This is a powerful time because in December, she's going to be opposing all of this energy in Capricorn and going retrograde. So we're gonna be integrating a lot of the things that we're doing now and setting forth on the path and making the adjustments in December. Now, luckily, she isn't going to be square Neptune, which she was the last time that she was retrograde, which was last spring and summer. I know I've brought that up a lot because Mercury is now retrograde over that plant, that point. Planets move in phases, guys. It's not like we're supposed to all figure something out, you know, in this one certain week or this one certain month and then boom, everything changes. We have to see things a little bit at a time. That's how we work spiritually. That's how our body and our souls learn to integrate so please just know expectation wise it's all a process now what i love about the first week is it starts off with a bang we have a sun trine saturn and a venus trine jupiter you can expect this to be a super spiritual time as mercury is squaring neptune at the same time in its retrograde period um, what happens is is a lot of information from other realms, a lot of inspirational ideas, and a lot of um, soul contracts that we're looking at now. These are the things that we wanna take into the next phase of our life, and Jupiter's starting this new phase. We're all in a form of recreation. From 2020 with the Saturn, Pluto Jupiter conjunction and then in 2021 in January as Jupiter lined up with Saturn for the first time in 12 years look it's we're all on reset and as we go through the summer we're kind of all blindsided by all of the things you know um, you think you're gonna go a certain way you think things are gonna unfold you feel super determined to go this route and the universe one by one is gonna say, yeah, but did you think of this? Did you consider that? Maybe this person isn't like the end all be all of where you wanna go. Um, and there comes a lot of truth with the fact that we all have these certain expectations for what we want, but we may not be integrating the correct players. And that's where the Sag Gemini energy really plays in, guys. Next year, it's gonna be a whole different story. When we start to move into the Scorpio Taurus, um, the Scorpio Taurus nodes, it's gonna be a lot different energy. So trust me, this might seem like a pain in the ass. It might seem like, ugh, like what else could happen? Everybody's lying to me. Every, nobody, you know, and, and, but we have to figure it out. We have to figure it out so we know where we're going. And we have to make sure that we are with the right people in the right places at the right time. And I promise you, in the first week of June, you're gonna start to get some glimpses into that whole ordeal. It may not necessarily be great. They may not necessarily 
be good news some people will some people you could meet you know new partners or you know new job contracts some things that are really on your soul path but for a lot of us we still have to get off the wrong path so you can expect a lot of truth coming through in june in order to get us on the correct path for our soul now at the same time we have a mars oppose pluto in that first week and this is like super driven energy and it comes from a place that is inexplicable when we talk about pluto energy it has the power of obsession which means it could give you this drive and this energy like you've never known before so it's really important the first week to set some really healthy goals mars opposed pluto can really initiate some great new habits how do we want to make our life better but it works the best when we're super honest with ourselves meaning we have to face the pieces of ourselves that maybe we've been ignoring you know if we've got those bad habits or those things that we do um, especially involving like procrastination you know this is like a meeting of the minds we're going to have a good talk with ourselves this week okay we want all of these things from life but what are we really doing how are we contributing to the overall plan and in really in all honesty how are we you know sabotaging ourselves we say we want these things we say we want these really healthy relationships yet we continue to partner up with people that maybe aren't so healthy we say that we want these jobs that are really ultimately so fulfilling and yet we stay in our comfort zones so you can expect the first week of june to be a lot about um, coming home to ourselves and being able to see the reasons why we've been in these situations and forgive ourselves for them okay reminder that we're all human we're all here doing what we think is best we're always doing our best with the circumstances and the tools that we have the universe is handing you some new tools it's handing you some new information and how are we going to integrate that in order to step forward into our best life second week things get a little cray cray we've got that major solar eclipse in gemini sun conjunct mercury at the same time and saturn square to uranus so like i said it's all of this energy of breaking free the need for freedom which means we have to leave these old structures and ways behind because mercury is retrograde and the sun is conjuncted you can expect a lot of communication showing us what the truth really is gemini energy is all all about the truth and the integration it's all about our connections it's all about the information that we get you may find yourself having some talks and some conversations with people or situations from the past everything's up for review here but the sun is telling you a lot about your ego and how is our ego attached to these situations maybe we become so driven in life to achieve things that we forget to stop and ask ourselves does this even fit me anymore is this even something that i want or is it something i'm trying to achieve just for the sake of achievement itself third week we have jupiter moving retrograde we have a sun trine jupiter and venus opposed pluto more of this energy and when pluto is involved as it is a couple times this month you can expect some power plays which means that the people in your life or the situations in your life may not be going the way that you want it to and it might really make you struggle with that whole ego kind of i want i want i want i want this to work out and spirit's like yeah but it's not for the best and you asked for this thing and yet you want the thing that's not going to get you there and because we have neptune stationing in the fourth week you have to learn to trust the universe. You have to learn to trust your intuition and your inner knowing, which is really what this month is all about. And it's about getting over the fear. Now, week four, we also have a full moon in Capricorn, which again is about the dissolving of the structures. 
the things that we have in play in our lives now that are holding us back from the ultimate in freedom. So the month is really about choosing what we're going to dissolve and what we're going to integrate in order to step into the new phases of our lives. And it's a really, really powerful month. Now, if you are hell bent on things going in a certain direction, this month might be a little bit unpleasant. This month might be full of twists and turns and shocking events. Um, for sure, you're going to see a lot play out on the news. You're going to see a lot of civil unrest as we're going through this. And of course, whenever we talk about a Saturn Uranus square, collectively, we see a lot of drama. We see a lot of protesting. We see a lot of people fighting against what the structures are trying to do, fighting against people dictating how things are going to go. And it's a lot about not allowing other people to tell us what to do, which means, and when the planets are retrograde, it's our authenticity, who we truly are and what we really want to experience in this lifetime. And so there are choices in the North Node and Gemini. Guys, eclipse season lasts about six months, so most likely you're seeing how it's gonna play out, but that energy is not just gonna bang hit you and then be over. It's a process for six months. This is taking us all the way to the December Saturn Uranus square, which is really going to bring us a lot of big energy, new things, new starts. Ironically, as Venus is moving retrograde, reviewing our finances and our values, making sure that everything fits now. What I can tell you about this month that's super important to me is all about integrity. If you've been doing some shady stuff, if you've been lying, even if you've been lying to yourself, look, we're all guilty of this. We want something to work out. So we're like, oh, this person's so perfect. And the truth is we're ignoring some red flags. You can expect those red flags to be really glaring this month because the universe is like, come on, come on, we gotta get you moving. We gotta get you out of here, you know? I think more often than not we kind of put ourselves in these boxes we're like okay this is what we want this is what we want to experience this is where i feel safe this is where i feel good and the universe is really trying to pull us out of these boxes it's really trying to open up our environment really trying to get us to understand that we are co-creating in this universe we are creating the life that we want so those self-limiting thoughts are our worst enemy you know Oh, I can never go back to school. Oh, I can never devote the kind of time. Oh, I can never have that kind of job. I can never take that cut and pay. Can, you know, we limit ourselves in what the universe is capable of because we don't believe in ourselves. And that's what we're breaking free from. Staying in relationships that don't serve us, staying in careers that don't serve us, staying in environments that no longer serve us. And this is all about getting us to that breaking point where we have the courage, Mars opposed, I'm sorry, um, Mars opposed Pluto and then Venus opposed Pluto. It's gonna give us this courage to make the big decisions, to allow the big changes, which ultimately allows in the soul growth, which is what this year is all about. Freedom in order for our souls to grow into the next Thing. It's a big year and it's a big month, guys. Now, I will be releasing the June videos shortly. I'm trying to get a really good head start on them so that they're kind of bumpy, um, free from the whole Mercury retrograde thing. So crossing my fingers, we'll get these out on time to you guys. Probably a shorter, much more condensed version, but still we'll give you something. And then I do plan on coming back mid month and working with you guys a little bit then too, as we navigate through that second eclipse. If you didn't get a chance, check out my eclipse pick a pile reading. I know that reading was a little bit confusing. There are timestamps in the description box. Um, you could fast forward to the shuffle. You'll see a picture of the cards and the stones. It was just the easiest way to integrate almost a two hour um, reading and I apologize if there's any confusion but those readings were really really powerful so if you do have a chance check them out all right guys I'm hoping that you guys have a wonderful month of June I hope you enjoy 
Um, a lovely start of summer in our northern hemisphere. And I just want to remind everybody to be truly grateful for where we are. It is a shame to lose the feeling of gratitude that we can get from the simplest things. If you remember back in the summer of 2020 and the spring of 2020, we were in a really scary time. There was a lot of uncertainty. We're still in a lot of uncertainty, but there are freedoms that we have now that we didn't before, and it's important to focus and be grateful for those. All right, guys, sending you so much love. I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye.